Hi. <laughs> Hello, ladies, gents, and salty ironclad losers. Not gonna lie, that last ironclad run, it really frosted my cookies. I could have won that one so much so that I just went immediately back in and just played a little bit, and I actually got a winning run. I lost just barely to the heart, but it was it was a good redemption for my my battered ego. Let's go into a watcher run. I go into that backwards rotation. Uh, whether I win or lose, oh boy, my favorite option, simply because it allows me to be lazy. Let's see <laughs> if we can get something good out of it. Can't get that buffed elite, but we could get that one. That's about it. If we get lucky with the question marks, what are the other options? I didn't even look at them. Remove a card, decent. Take 21 damage, but get lots of money. I don't think that 21 health is worth so much money. I seen the other way around. I don't think that 250 gold is worth 21 health. So, hmm. I mean, if we get unlucky, it's kind of a garbage path, isn't it? Going to an elite fight without a camp site first and stuff. I like this path quite a little bit. Quite a bit better. Definitely don't want to go this way. I'll get trounced. Um, alternatively, we can avoid an elite fight altogether, but let's try this one right here. And we'll just, we won't be lazy, we'll just simply remove a card from our deck, we'll remove one of them strikes. And hopefully, we will get places in this run, who knows what will happen. Already starting with a, a little bit of a painful, a painful beginnings. I think uh, I'll just take z almost zero damage, this is a, a decent, I think I want to keep that miracle for next turn. But uh, you know, no, not terribly enthused about this start that being said this eruption is going to do all kinds of evil things to my enemies it's going to fill them up with terrible pain and there's no reason to do anything other than to pass the turn and just need two strikes did not get two strikes so <laughs> you get stuck in this mode and then you just get boned by my complete inability to Chain stances. Not pleased with this beginning. I could have possibly not. Ooh, a stance potion is good stuff. Not ended that in wrath, and things would have been much, much better. This tranquility might have saved me. But is it worth it though? Is it worth more than a sash whip? Can I want more damage so I can, uh, and especially that apply in weak. I think this is uh, worth more, especially if we find like goblin knob. You know, that goblin. Uh, I think that's the actual name. Yeah, we'll, we'll take that money. That's all right. And if we find the Goblin Boy, I want to have enough damage to murder everybody. Now, this is a fight where going into wrath mode is, does not get punished. I did not put on the face cam. I have been having uh, ambivalent thoughts about it. It's like, yeah, do I really think that it adds as much? Now that I've been getting used to it, it and especially since I would be going back to a uh, far more time constrained schedule. Ugh. Ugh. This is awful. I guess we can get uh, crushing joints. I mean, bowling bash. Meh. Oh, Anna Gray stuff. Do I even want any of these? I guess we'll take the crushed joints. This is all right for. Um, not much at all. Ah, this is the crushing joints. I card that I've never actually grabbed, so maybe I should not. I should not diss it too much. Let's crush his joint, and then we'll make him weak. Feeling pretty good about that start, and hopefully we can get enough damage here. Is that enough? He oh he doesn't have a vulnerability, so that's not going to be enough. So um, so I would rather not go into. Actually, it could have, it would have been enough with a miracle. Totally forgot that we have that miracle in our hand. It's all right. Not that massive deal. This is definitely an definitely enough damage. There you go. Good stuff. Oh, wallop! <laughs> I don't even question it. Shop could be nice, but I think I'll rather campsite. Ooh, transformer card, huh? Mm-hmm. We barely have. Ah, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. You definitely want to. Transform Ragnarok, a strike. Transform a strike. Deal five damage to a random enemy five times. That's deal twenty-five damage for three energy. Not amazing, but definitely something that can be majorly upgraded. What happens? Six damage to six enemy. Now that's a much better proposition. But I think 
that wall up it's where it's at upgrade the wall up right in a close second there's the our friend the goblin knob do we want to go nuts do we want to go nuts and go eruption and then have a massive amount of regret on the next turn <laughs> i don't think like he's totally going to murder me if i go eruption but it will be so much damage though it will be 9 plus 16 is 25 that will be 37 damage that's half his health and we have this dance potion you only live once and then you die to the goblin knob let's do it let's just do it that's too bad uh, there was no skill in combat so there's no vulnerability being applied that fills me with sadness there you go we have a, a stance potion nothing bad will happen to me you know what 16 damage is not that bad and in fact you dead bitch i should have <laughs> paid attention and realized oh judgment is very good I, although I am tempted to go try to get a whole bunch of pressure points, I did have a run with a billion pressure points. A billion pressure, pressure points, and it was very successful because I was able to concentrate on them. But Judgment, you know, super good card. I'm going to, to keep it, and I'm going to cherish it. I shall wallop you over the head. It is so OP. It's so good. Wallop, best card in the game. Um... Oh yeah, the lantern. I'm like, why do I have two energy still? The lantern did its job. And this is why I don't like um, crushing joints too much. It requires you to use the skill beforehand. Anyway, this is 25 damage. There you go. Ragnarok has come to you. You've been judged unworthy. You are thrown into the garbage. And then you turn if you're in calm again. Five block. I don't know if I like that. Gain seven block. I just stands. I think we need some empty. So let's be empty. What you got, friendo? Ceramic fish. So whenever you add a card to your deck, gain nine gold. We are very early in the run, so that's a decent thing to grab. Let's uh, continue traveling through these wonderful places. I suppose we'll go into vigilance and then crush this disgusting creature's joints and then do absolutely nothing else. So we can get some wrath. Actually, no, that would be a terrible idea to to get wrath here. Um, we will. I can't believe this one uh, one energy. This is just so overpowered. <laughs> you get absolutely obliterated, erased from existence. Fantastic stuff. And absolutely will use that miracle to get that damage done. A little strength card. Fantastic stuff. Halt. Big big fan of Halt. I've established that much. I just got done dissing crush joints. So I think this is a Halt. And hopefully he won't come back to bite me in the ass. We don't have AoE, unfortunately, so can't do much about this. So that will be 30. Halt will get rid of some of that, but not all of it. We can do Vigilance, Eruption, Halt, and Strike, and that will that will do some. That'll get rid of at least one of these guys, right? At least this guy. So I think that's a decent way of doing things. Murder you. I shall halt all of your advances. Do a whole bunch of killing you, and uh, we block for 20. Life is great. Not pleased with this scumbag, but hopefully he will not be a problem after I uh, call down Ragnarok on the asses. I don't think there's a better way of doing this. And then we'll have enough for at the very least block or crush joints. Depends on the result of this. Why do math when you can just call down judgment from the skies? Good. Um, it's a lot of damage coming in, but if we do empty body, we'll actually won't suffer much. Alternatively, I can take 10 and just kill the gremlin. This mad, mad gremlin. Or we can just use the block potion. You guys know my tendency to... Yeah, let's do that. You guys know my tendency to hate missing out on potion rewards, even though it's... Uh, kind of dumb in the sense that sometimes you get a potion reward that is worse than the potions you have but you know that sense of missed opportunity it drives you nuts wreath of flame is actually awesome with ragnarok but little else i've never taken wreath of flame in my life is this it is this the time 
I think this is the time. I, I just feel like I want to try it, damn it. I, there's this chance of making Wreath of Flame actually do something. And I'm going to try it. Give it... Ah, that's too bad. We didn't get it. You know what? Wreath of Flame and Wallop is a pretty okay combination. Do we want to do that in this turn? Not really. Not really. Because we'll only be... I mean, we'll do some damage there. Unless we go into Wrath, which is, feels like such a waste. I really wanted to have Wreath of Flame plus Ragnarok. That was the, the entire aim here, but we did not get what we wanted. I think we should definitely try for ending an eruption. Or at the very least, just cast Vigilance. Unfortunate. Your next attack, which means it's stored. There you go. It's stored. I didn't realize that, that it, it will keep for the next turn. So my value, my value of Wreath of Flame actually just went up. Mm, I didn't realize that it's something that keeps from one turn to the next. So then now this Ragnarok is like... <clears throat> brutal. Is it worth throwing out eight more damage? I think I want to keep this miracle. So I can do Vigilance, Interruption, and all that good stuff. So, uh, just pass the turn. What you got, friendo? Sash Whip. Mmm... 20 damage. I think I want simply to end in Vigilance. Unfortunately, that means I cannot use my Sash Whip. Is it... Uh, it's not enough damage, right? It's 9... Plus 16 is 25. Plus 37. It's half. But we can do Eruption Halt Vigilance and that will, you know, take away all the damage that's coming in. There you go. There you go. Fantastic. And hopefully next turn there can be more pain being passed out. Unfortunately, Wreath of Flame and Ragnarok do not combine anymore unless I pass uh, another turn. Not a terrible, not a, not a great... Not a great um, turn here. I guess we can just simply defend and pass the turn and hope for that eruption to save my anus. Alternatively, it will be 50. Not enough. If I enter Wrath, not enough. So let's just do this and then Wreath of Flame. You know what? I never considered that Wreath of Flame would stick around. This it makes, makes a pretty damn big difference. Hmm... Too bad about that, about that empty body not working out. I mean, we'll do that. Because I don't have much of a choice otherwise. I don't think I want to even use the empty body. Like, there's really nothing to do with this. Uh, these uh, cards, this draw was pretty garbage. There's an eruption, though. Unfortunately. Is, is it enough? With the freaking weakness. I don't think it's going to be enough. So, I suppose, I guess. I guess I'll have to count. That's 8. 22 is 30. And 14 is 44. Almost there. If we take this strength potion. Wait, wait, wait. It's eruption. Down to 3, but then back to 3. So yeah, then wallop. If we take this, this strength potion, we'll make it happen. So, you know, let's do it. 26. Oh, yeah, yeah, because of the strength potion. I think that my math was correct. I didn't just uh, mess up terribly. Or Talcum is a nice pickup. Prostrate, talk to the hand. Wonderful. Deal five damage whenever you attack this enemy. Gain two block exhaust. Excellent boss tool. Lots of money. What do we want to do? Try for another elite? Be extremely greedy? We'll see the results of this shop. We'll decide upon the results of this shop. Mm hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Signature move. Another Wreath of Flame. I'm, I'm, my opinion of Wreath of Flame has gone up considerably, but still I wouldn't say it's a great card. It's just uh, situationally pretty good. Situationally pretty good. Hmm. Time to just go for this strawberry, honestly. You know what? This, uh... This is a decent... Approach of Blood Vial and Strawberry. Have ways to heal myself. Do we want any of these cars? Let me super think it. 
I don't think Sense of Time is very good in this deck just yet. Signature move can be okay, but I don't like dead cards in my hand. And right now we have actually quite a few attacks that are uh, expensive, so it means that most of the time you're not going to be able to cast that if you draw them. Third Eye. I think Third Eye is a damn decent consideration. Can I afford all of the things? That's 100, 143. I can't afford all of the things. The strawberry is like a little shrug worthy. I don't know if it's worth that much money. Hmm. The hand agreed. I've actually never used this. Deal 20 damage for 2 energy. I think we have too many expensive attacks right now. You know what? Let's get that third eye. Let's get a uh, card removed. Another strike goes away. We don't really have that many attacks. <laughs> Another strike goes away. Just get rid of it. I think we have under 36. To, uh, didn't even consider the potions. Duplication. Essence of steel. Hmm. What do we want? I haven't stopped to think about that. What do we want? We have big, big attacks. I think we're all right where offense is concerned. I would like to reliably draw stuff. I don't like to have a way to retain cards. Nothing really that... No, none of the those problems is solved by what we have in hand. Honestly, a wreath of flame. I am extremely, extremely tempted for it, but uh, I think is is foolish. Maybe that just an essence of steel to go into the, uh, going to the elite fight with this essence of steel, and use it alongside Orichalcum to prevent most of the damage. basically makes me immune oh 30 i have not improved it yet um immune to to one of these comebacks we'll drink it and we can do vigilance ragnarok if we use the miracle we might draw that eruption and then that means we'll do a, an enormous amount of damage judgment will be fantastic if this Ragnarok lands properly. A whoop! Yeah. Nice. <laughs> You're judged unworthy. And here comes our Calcum and the potion to prevent all damage. Feeling pretty good about spending 75 gold on that. Um, I think that was a decent, a decent investment. So now the fight is extremely easy. And I am very happy about it. Uh, definitely want to draw that. Don't really care about halt. Don't care about this strike. We'll take that talk to the hand even though. I don't know if it's worth it, honestly. We are now just pure offense. We want to get rid of the enemy at all costs. Let's see if it was a skill. So if I cast that, it's not going to be good enough. That's right. We have the, the wreath. So I think it should be wallop. Crush joints. Is, uh, besides crush joints, is garbage right now because they have an artifact i think that's wallop is a no-brainer in fact with the wallop it's eruption oh wait wait the wreath it's going to be enough it's still going to be enough to block so kabumo murders him they don't even need to talk to the hand just draw a few good cards did not draw a few good cards so i guess we'll do this <laughs> talk to the hand does not work but at the very least that uh, we're able to prevent most damage or a calcum hmm which one hmm let's just discard all of them all of them so maybe i draw something that's decent well we did suffer four damage and i'm a little salty about that because i think that was a, a mistake of mine not really uh of the design of the deck or nothing blur bloats can be okay i think wheel kick i don't know it's uh inner peace might be the way to do it Having more ways to enter calm so I can have more energy. Let's do it. Alright, 38 health. What are we fighting? Should have probably looked at that. I don't respect this line boss. Not as much as I should, maybe. Um, inner peace, very tempting to to upgrade, but judgment needs to be upgraded. It's not going to help. Actually, it will help against this line. So there goes judgment upgraded. It is an, a massive upgrade for judgment. It is one of the best cards. Like... Freaking Watcher has the best cards in the game. It's just outrageous. 
Vigilance is there, but we do have Empty Body and we do have Inner Peace. That's what? About a 50-50 chance of throwing it? And next turn he charges up, so you definitely want to erupt here. There you go. Definitely want to erupt. Because now he's going to do the, yeah, the weird charge up. Uh, we'll sash whip you, baby. Talk to the hand. Is that even necessary? Why not? Crush joints. Can I, is there a way that I can do crush joints? If I use my miracle here, which I will. Let's do it. Crush joints. Uh, talk to the hand. Sash whip. You're already being interrupted. I, if I had gotten him low, low enough, I could have actually murdered him with my judgment. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. All right. That is massive. Thank goodness we drew empty body. Holy crap, it would have been awful. Uh, inner peace empty body gives me two energy, but nothing really to use it with. So, I mean, we do have this potion, which means that I, I would not have been completely boned one way or another. Mm, we want to draw... Or do we want to simply empty body? Hmm. Oh, we do have a freaking wrath right now. So let's use that. I guess don't worry about Wreath of Flame. We'll just simply cast a strike here. And we don't really want to draw, do we? So we'll just end the turn on inner peace. So it's pretty rough. It's a pretty rough turn here. And we're going to take uh, with 17. That should be okay. Should be able to interrupt one of the slimes next turn. And actually they did absolutely nothing. Too bad that wreath did not work out properly. I seen, you know, I was unable to... Unable... To... Use it for Ragnarok. That's all right. Now we do double attack here. Empty body will give me some energy to defend from everything, maybe. Actually, wallop will do it. But thanks to the freaking uh, weakness, it's not going to work out very well. Let's just uh, bash you over the head. Or do I want to do that? Maybe I, I can actually kill one of these. You know what? I think I'll already just do damage to the, to the gray one because I think I have enough to... Block all 18. Let's do the numbers. 9. That makes it... That makes it 14. And then 2 block. It's plenty. There you go. And it creates a much smaller slime. I mean, mu not much smaller, but a definitely a smaller slime. Well, you're gone. <laughs> that worked out. And... You know what? I would rather just do a wreath of flame. Strike. Then we're... What's, what's being drawn here? Eh? Actually, just derupt. What is the worst that can happen? The worst that can happen is that I need to use my stance potion. That's it. But the double damage here could probably win me the game. And in fact, it was not even necessary. Pen Nib is happening. It does not matter what happens here. Fantastic. Beautiful. First. Oh, man. <laughs> Another Ragnarok, huh? Nah. Whenever a card is created during combat upgraded, I don't really have a way to... To, to do anything like that. When you draw this card, add two miracles to your hand and exhaust. I mean, it's, it's alright. It's alright. It's card disadvantage. But among all of these, since we have expensive attacks and stuff, that one's a decent choice. Tiny House, Pandora's Box, Cursed Key. Cursed, cursed Key, I think, is by far the best here. Alright. Carrying on to the city and all the terrible monsters that lay within. What path shall I choose? Will it be a path full of riches? Will it be a path full of demons? Probably both. Yes, indeed. Hmm. We'll go to the shop, maybe. Where are the campsites here? I would like to upgrade every single one of my items, please. That would be very, very nice. Every single one of my cards. It really doesn't matter which path you choose, does it? I think I'll rather go this way. And we got a choice to either go there or to the campsite, depending on how we're doing. Really does not give you any extra campsites going elsewhere. So, yeah, let's start there. Oh, I didn't realize there was two fights there. I thought it was a, a straight, going straight forward. Well, this is a pretty garbage 
hand. I guess we'll start here. And that sash whip will do a little bit of damage. And then we'll do absolutely nothing. We do have three miracles for the next turn. I suppose that's something. Mm, no flame breathe, unfortunately. So we can do whenever you attack this enemy. So it does not count Ragnarok. Um, start on third eye. Judgment. Judgment just outright kills this guy, doesn't it? I would like to have it, please. Thank you. So we simply need to just defend. Is the Watcher the most, like, uh, direct counter to this guy? I think so. The Watcher has two cards specifically designed to obliterate the Spheric Guardian. The Watcher cares not for the Spheric Guardian. Does not give a damn about this poor piece of garbage. Actually, I could have just inner peace, miracle judgment. Oop. And it's gone. <laughs> Silly. The other card being Melter. Um, just lucky, huh? Just lucky. I like something that takes more energy. Cut through fate. Would be nice. Uh, having more more comments is like meh. I want expensive stuff. This is a, a common. Uh, does cry to draw a card? Is like, eh? Eh? I do find myself sometimes with uh, hands that are too. Yeah, let's go for it. Hands that are too small. Like I need more energy. I think I need more cards to spend all this energy with. Whoa! What an absolute garbage <laughs> situation. I mean, we're not going to suffer any damage. I think I want to keep the judgment. I don't really care for the eruption. Because we might get destroyed by uh, the multiple damage. I guess I'll uh, throw it over there. Because one of these is going to be dead next turn. Defend, defend. And I just call it a turn. Alright. You will be judged unworthy. Does Ragnar count? Let's see. Let's read this. There's 50%... Uh, cancel if dealt attack damage three times in one turn. So Ragnarok does change. Uh, in theory, Ragnarok counts every time that, it's, that it impacts. You're gone. You're dead. Mm, in theory, three hits from Ragnarok will bring you down. It does. All right, good. Excellent. And do we want to Sash Whip? Sure. Why not? We have so many miracles in hand. The next card play this combat. but oh, oh, because I play a miracle. Like, I could have sworn I just played an attack. <laughs> All right, just pass the turn. Looking pretty okay. Pendiv will be probably available next turn. There's the Wallop. The Wallop will block all the bird damage coming in. Wreath of Flame will probably cast it next turn. Uh, inner Peace. Eh, we'll just cast it now. As in, cast it for next turn. That's what I meant to say. That's what, what I wanted to do. And then you just crush joints for this idiot. Don't know if it was worth it, but whatever. Cut through fate should... No, actually, they will not they will not kill it. But it doesn't matter because you draw a card and then you draw a judgment and your life is solved. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> judgment is so overpowered. It's amazing. I don't really care for any of these. Right now, we're just trying to cycle into judgment all the time. That's the, the main... Goal, cycle into Judgment, cycle into Wallop, Wreath of Flame, Ragnarok. Defend as much as possible in between. So I think now what we need is just finding ways to get rid of cards as much as possible. Just get rid of all the chaff. Mm, transform two cards. Of my choice, right? Start each combat with three strength. I mean, of all the things I can have, I could transform two defense and that will be okay. I think I will just take the extra strength at the beginning of the of the fight since we have good chances of having a very strong first turn. Let's go this way because that uh, buffed elite is that way. Clock or souvenir, very happy with that. I don't know if I want to have it though. Simmering Fury would probably be good. Conclude would be probably good. But what have I just said? Great attacks. Great attacks. They don't further the goal of this deck, which is Flame Reef, Ratnarok, Judgment, and Wallop. 
those are the things you want to go to. I mean, they don't really scale that much. Th those are things to go to towards being uh, successful, going all the way to the top. But then if you want to kill the heart, you'll need to see it do a little bit better than that. And something that will help me out a lot for that is Clock of Souvenir. I don't think I, I can pass that up. It's, it's a great, great relic, in my opinion. Master Strategy, though. That could have possibly been a very good draw. Uh, very good. Actually, Weave is also very good because we have so many scries. But you know what? Remove the Fed and call it a day. Or you even remove a strike. Just keep digging for the good stuff and defend when you can't dig. Now, I have too many defenses to remove them all. Remove at least one of them. A tough fight. Tough fight to be sure. Hopefully, I'll be able to. Not die horrendously, since this dies to judgment, <laughs> we should be okay. Do we want to reflame before or after this? For sure, we'll have to do halt here, so crush joints gets rid of the artifact, I suppose. We'll just do damage and then flame root for the next turn, and hopefully uh, we'll get either Ragnarok or a judgment. We got neither of those. That is upsetting. But Sash Whip, uh, we can kill it. It will mean taking a whole bunch of damage. Ah, oh, we do have antibody. So never mind. It does not mean taking damage at all. Oop. Amazing. And so we don't take any damage. We'll defend there. Great stuff. Where is my judgment? Just come, Lord. I guess we can do vigilance. Inner peace. Judgment. See you later. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. I don't think I want to get rid of power potion for another stance potion. An upgrade of Wreath of Flame, huh? Mmm. Carve Reality. This feels like overkill. But I'm going to take it anyway because, damn it, I gave it a chance and it's doing right by me. I'm going to, I'm going to try and use it. And uh, get that upgraded one. Alright, Elite Fight. Give me. What do we do against this? Not really sure, but at the very least, this Wallop is going to to obliterate one of these scumbags. Not really obliterate him, but it's going to be good. It's going to be great, and in fact I am tempted. I mean, he will just outright kill him, right? Yeah, it's over 50 damage here. Do it. Just do it. Only one chance. Take your shot. Just take your shot. Kaboom! 50. Actually, I get to kill this guy if I want to, but I feel like this fellow over here is the most dangerous. He can... He can stop you from from attacking at all. So I think he is priority number one. Let's do more damage over here. Um, I think Ragnarok can give me the victory next turn. Tuck the hand though. I will take both. I forgot that uh, that attack actually draws. So I have made a mistake. I will own this mistake and carry on with my life. Hopefully, though, I will not be terribly punished by it. I don't see a way to turn back into the other mode, so slightly upsetting. We can apply weak here. Let's, let's see. Talk to the hand. Can we? I don't think we can kill him. But if we do talk to the hand, sash whip, miracle crush joints. I really don't want to take that 26, though. I think he needs to go. Which is upsetting. But we can apply weak here. I'm quite certain. We can do something like this, and then goes there. And talk to the hand still works. Ah, double damage. I think we, if I had realized that I had Benniv, we probably could have gotten the kill. Forgot about Orichalcum. What a saver. What a lifesaver. What a guy. Uh, no, uh, no damage, huh? <laughs> I guess we'll uh, empty body inner peace. No, 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 no. Vigilance inner peace. And uh, we have two miracles. I should have scryed first. No big deal. You just get judged unworthy. Smoke bam. Uh, let's see. Sash whip halt. For an influence. Just one of three attacks. Don't really want it. I mean, halt plus is nice. What I keep saying, I want the good stuff. I want to, what do you do? Three miracles. I want to get to the good state of my deck, 
anything that gets in the way, it is uh, a bad thing. I think upgrading Ragnarok is where it's at. I need to talk to the hand. Let's upgrade talk to the hand. It's such a great defensive weapon that also allows you to continue continue uh, doing damage. I wasn't debuffed by this guy. I wonder what that debuff was. It doesn't stop mutagenic thing, right? What the... wonder what that was. I'm not entirely certain. Does he apply a debuff as soon as you enter here? I don't know. I'm not sure. Anyway. What can we do? Mm, we have five energy. So that means I can play absolutely everything. So let's start here. I think I want all of these things. So we'll keep them. Mm, combat was an attack. We'll apply weak. Let's do that. And not really care about either of these. All right, Sneko. Do your worst. You gave me free vigilance. Fantastic stuff. Wreath of Flame. Free vigilance, but then free energy inner peace. Not great. Mm. I don't think I want to erupt in any way. We'll just do block, 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 block. We're going to do that and then inner peace and draw a bunch of stuff. It's a good chance that I am actually able to play them. Come up with a skill, which is this. We can do that. Wreath of Flame. We'll just keep it for the next turn and hope to draw a Ragnarok, which... Well, that was cut through fate, right? So we actually don't want to discard defend because Ragnarok will come next turn. So we can do that. Unfortunately, I mean, we can use two Miracle to not take five damage. Okay. Not happy with it. Uh, I'll be uh, I'll go in on record not happy with it. But I'm okay with it. And Ragnarok is going to be immersive. And in fact, it's lethal, isn't it? To leave Wreath of Flame and <laughs> not Ragnarok. <laughs> Told you guys he will come into play. Totally there. A second talk to the hand. Meditate. Put two cards from the discard pile into your hand and retain them. Yes. Super good. To... Oh, I shouldn't have. Skip chest. Do I want to skip this chest? How good can this chest be? Do we want that curse? I mean, we do need the key fragment. We do need the key fragment. There's no shop to get rid of this uh, thing. I'm too greedy. I'm too damn greedy. Oh, that was a mistake. <laughs> I mean, this uh, potion bill is nice. We'll just take that fragment and call it a day. That's all right. Smith, give me something amazing. Mm, I think it's finally time to upgrade that Ragnarok. Also, it would be nice to <laughs> upgrade this eruption to make it so not, not so freaking expensive. Mm, but that Ragnarok has been doing so much damage. Do it. Now it does 36 damage. Please don't end the run, Mr. Book of Stabbing Elite. Super amazing. You had a buff, though. Painful stabs. I think uh, this prevented that. Clockcross Souvenir prevented whatever the buff was from affecting me. Ooh, baby, that Wreath of Flame Ragnarok is going to be brutal. Can we maybe drink a potion that gives me a power that is... It was a skill. So we can actually apply vulnerable. Like, 14 damage? It's not that much. It's not that much. I'm going to do that. And then do that. And then the Wreath of Flame. And boy, are you going to suffer. Go boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Unfortunately, it does mean that I don't have a whole lot of uh, defense right now. I think I want to meditate and grab the... Uh, from the discard pot, grab that Ragnarok again. We want to consume a power potion in case. What powers does the Watcher even have that will prevent damage being dealt? I don't think so. I think I just need to take it. Or a Calcum will save me a little bit. So give me that Ragnarok. Give me that Wreath of Flame. And next turn is just going to be lethal. <laughs> Amazing. Or a Calcum saved me some damage there. So anyway, let's do the numbers here. That will be 14 times 6 equals dead Book of Stabbing. Pretty cool. Pretty happy. What just happened? Omniscience, you say. 
We have the energy for it. Upgrade Empty Mind. Let's see. Omniscience Ragnarok, a, a big, big thing that can happen, yes. Omniscience Judgment can destroy the enemy. Omniscience Deus Ex Machina can actually give me a ton of energy. Actually, that will be very, very worthless. <laughs> because it basically gives me the same amount of energy that I spent on Omniscience. Other than that, I mean, Omniscience Wallop is always a classic. I will feel wrong not to pick up this Omniscience. So let's do it. It's another way of digging for the card you want to cast, right? So I think I have talked myself into saying that was a good pickup. All right. What you got? There's the weirdo, but we do need to kill this scumbag. Mm. An attack. I always have to read them because I confuse Sash Whip and Crush Joints all the time. Definitely don't need the wrath, Wreath of Flame right now. I think when simply chill, just take a little bit of damage. We'll just do it like this. The Sash Whip. The Pendiv uh, worked out really nicely. Cast a Defend and the Flame Wreath. And uh, that's pretty good. Just suffering one point of damage. Oh yeah, Ragnarok, here it comes. <laughs> oh, you are not worthy. Get absolutely minced. And I suppose I will just do that and pass the turn. He's just doing the, the curse. Well, yeah, I mean, you could convince me that this deck is far more powerful than I, I am habituated to. I, you know, I like these potions quite nicely. I don't really want this explosive potion. Consecrate kind of gets in the way. It's good, but it gets in the way of what I want to do right now. Empty fist. Will be useful, but nah, not terribly inclined to any of those. Continue with the fighting. This, this is a good candidate to just leading. One of these days I'm going to figure out why every time that I enter one of these. What is it that is being applied and then being taken away immediately by the clockwork souvenir? I really don't know. I need to pay attention to it. I, I need to actually be looking at it. Anyway, omniscience. Seven times two. That's, that's 20 coming in. If we can wallop. If we can wallop. That's enough. Judgment. It gets rid of one of them, but it doesn't do anything to the other. Might use my smoke potion here. Just to not have to deal with it. Omniscious Ragnarok is a lot of damage, but it, if it kills this, it will leave me with my ass in the air. It will leave me with uh, suffering close to 20. We do have Vigilance Defend Third Eye, which will save me most of the pain. I hate this fight. <laughs> absolutely freaking hate this fight. I don't want to deal with it. Let's just keep, keep going. <laughs> that felt slightly lazy. Negated. Oh, what was it? I just did not see it. I think... Oh, what a synergy. What a synergy. At the end of your first tune, lose three strength. Clockwork Souvenir says, No, 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 you're not going to lose this three th strength. So, <laughs> mutagenic strength directly gets countered. I mean, uh, it's the synergistic, uh, amazing, plus three strength, the whole fight. Incredible. Anyway, Gremlin Boy. Can we not suffer any damage? I think we want to talk the hand to this guy. But then what? We will make him weak, weak as well? Can we actually just kill one of the Gremlins? I think we can. I think it's important to apply that to that fellow. Regardless of whatever else I do in, th in the turn. Uh, there you go. Just kill him. Just kill one of them. And the damage coming in is garbage. It's nothing. It means nothing for me. But he's going to buff them. So let's do it like that. I don't really want anything from my... I guess we can cast Halt and then meditate and grab Halt back. Because it will be useful next turn. And Sash Whip, I suppose. Hmm. Well, he gets damage there. Oracalcum. Oh, because Halt gave me three block, which then Oracalcum 
did not trigger because of that. Oh well, not a big deal. Um, well, if there's the time to cast Eruption, this is it. Actually, to get a lot of energy and not much to do with it. But damn it. I guess Sash Whip. Eruption Sash Whip over here. That will be a 16, not enough to kill this piece of garbage. So I guess we'll do it like this. And then... I'll wall up the crap out of this comeback, get a ton of damage out of it because of pen nib. And then we'll just scry. I don't want this in my hand. Crush joints can be okay. So let's do it like this. And the turn. Give me some sweet, sweet Ragnarok. No Ragnarok, but we can judge one of these. Wreath of Flame. Vigilance. I mean, one of you guys just vanishes. Do we have enough damage? To just judge this man? I don't think so. Maybe with the wreath? That will be 30. Almost there, but not quite. Uh, so yeah, we'll... Kill you. And judge you. And the wreath goes. And... We want to be on um, vig vigilance next, next turn. We're going to draw Ragnarok. And I just wreathed. Either Ragnarok or... The other thing that is called a thing. Omniscience. We drew both. I think this is going to kill our friend, uh, the Gremlin leader. What do you guys fellas think? Let's, let's find out what Thor thinks about the matter. <clears throat> I misclicked that, but <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Damaru, at the start of your turn, game one mantra. Not terribly useful for the, car, the, the deck that we have right now, but I'm oh, having a great time. We do have lots of scrying. And Weave will be useful towards that. But what have I said? That's not further my goals. So, don't care. Omniscience. Cheaper Omniscience. Honestly, Omniscience is not that great in my deck right now. Um, not much else to upgrade, however. I think I want to upgrade Eruption. Just to have that cheap... Um, cheap Wrath entering. I wish I could judge you unworthy, you piece of garbage. Ah, well, here it starts. The real deal. I think we want to take a potion of the uh, potion right away. Whenever cards retain, Deva form. Yeah, yeah, that, that can be nice. <laughs> Often I find myself with not enough... Not enough cards to use all this power. I don't think Deva form is going to be that useful here. That being said, all the others, I mean, I think ba Battle M is pretty decent. How can I possibly pass Deva for him, though? I have to do it. I have to do it. Um, I guess we'll just try to apply weak. And then defend. And eat a massive fat donger. Because there's nothing much else I can do. We, we could drink the other potion, but... I mean, we're unlikely. The defend actually was bad. Because we have Orichalcum. I keep forgetting that we have Orichalcum. Too bad. Can't use inner peace. I mean, we'll use it to enter. Freaking calm. And then next turn, boy, do I want to draw freaking Ragnarok or Omniscience. No Omniscience, unfortunately, but this Ragnarok is going to be brutal. Too bad that I can't use Eruption first. This needs to happen. There is no way I am not doing Ragnarok. It is more than uh, uh, Eruption one, right? No pen nip. We're not even close. Yeah, it's no, uh, it's no question about it. Kaboom! Mm, we do have vigilance, which means we can erupt and then go back to vigilance. But what will be the point of that? I could have used talk to the hand, but it would have meant it would have meant not getting the benefit of the wreaths. Let's do that. And then we'll do Eruption Miracle Vigilance to get that extra little bit of block. There we go. I don't know if that was worth it. Oh, I didn't need the Miracle. I forgot that we got stuff. No, no, no. We did not get... Did we get... Oh, no. Whatever. <laughs> I want to meditate. Cut through fate. I don't think I need it. Mm. That's good. Go for it. 
Blocking 18. Omniscience, unfortunately. Not enough, huh? Not enough. Just a card in your draw pile. <laughs> unfortunately, we did not get the nice combination that would have saved me. The ability to do things right and be the most amazing watchers of all time. There's Penneva, I should have... Uh, wait, oh no, I can't wait. Meditate, put two cards in, from the discard pile into your hand. Is there really a reason? Just grab Wallop. Wreath of Flame, Wallop. Maybe Eruption. Let's do that. There's not much else to do. I mean, I could have, like, omniscience some garbage, but <laughs> I don't think we needed that. Let's do as much damage as possible. Should have maybe done Cutthroat Fate. Penib is coming up. Mm. I think I want the Sash Whip. It can save my ass, and in fact, I want to keep the third eye to just in case. I forgot. Once again, I forgot. I get rid of that inner piece, maybe. Oh, that's right, Deva form. So we want inner piece so we can draw more cards. So that's all good. Uh, nothing else that we want to do here other than wall up and vigilance. Get my ass out of wrath. Even though next turn we're probably going to draw either Ragnarok or Omniscience. So you could make the argument that staining wrath would be better. But what if we don't draw what we need? I will get super screwed. I mean, we're extremely likely to get at least Inner Peace or Meditate or Omniscience or Ragnarok. So I think the plan is solid to stay in uh, this stance. What are the, is there a hand that will not give me what I need? Yes, this hand right here. Actually, empty body will be enough to save my ass. So these, and then two wreaths of flame. <laughs> that can be, actually there is a hand that would leave me, leave me with the ass in the air. So, you know what? Let's just play it safe. Let's just play it safe. We'll do something like that. And... Who knows? Maybe I get the absolute worst hand ever conceived. But we didn't. We're going to Wreath of Flame. We're going to Omniscience. Sash Whip. Weak. I confuse them all the time. And we're going to Ragnarok. Not enough damage, huh? I did not realize uh, that it would not be enough. That being said, we do have Inner Peace and Sash Whip and all that good stuff. So we should be able to draw enough damage to murder this guy. There you go. I judge you unworthy. Oh, baby. Another act complete. Listen, learned. Don't really want that. Omniscience, a second Ragnarok. All of these cards are things that I already have. Or, I mean, lesson learned can be good. It's too late to have a lesson learned. It's too damn late. A second Omniscience is just silly. I mean, you can do double Omniscience... Oh, I, I am too tempted to double omniscience Ragnarok. That would be hilarious. Um, bust the crown. Future carry wars have two less cards. I, I'm set with cards, honestly. They're embossed only combats gain energy. You know what? I feel solid with our energy right now. We have all those miracles and all that good stuff. I think even Sacred Bark will be a better option than the Slaver Scholar. I feel our energy is fine. I don't need any more. Let me just give me that and we'll carry on to the beyond. Hmm, I have a little bit of a time constraint here. What time is it? Let me look at my actual time. It is 5.55 p.m. for me. We can carry on. Maybe I can do this uh, this entire run in one go. I doubt it though. Hmm, where to go? We have quite a bit of cash. We need to recall the last piece of the thing. And we're fighting Donodeca. So. Which elite to fight? Elites are really the thing that can kill me. There's a three elite fight going this way. That's a lot of elites. Let's meet them head on. We'll uh, go through the shot first. 
I'm glad that I realized that's what's happening here, that the strength is now permanent. That is super awesome. We can do a lot of damage with this eruption. Unfortunately, the hand is not that great, but can meditate out of it. Or Calcum is better than nothing. Better than this defend, I think. But I can do eruption, defend, empty body, and that will be enough. And we'll save Wreath of Flame for the next one. Defend, empty body. Definitely playing that, and the meditate will keep that. Another Wreath of Flame. Took a little bit of damage, but not a big deal. Unfortunately, did not draw the, the big, fat, super damage attack. A little disappointed about that. But we can just pile up a giant. Now nah, we want to talk to the hand here. Will it be enough to just kill it? Pfft, math is complicated, man. <laughs> I don't think I have enough to kill it. And I have no way of uh, getting out of the stance once I erupt. Let's see, this is... Let's see, 20? 28? Does Wreath of Flame damage get doubled with eruption? I need, I, I need to do science. I just must do science. I only have four energy, though. Definitely need to start on Talk to the Hand. I mean, this is happening. But maybe the damage will be enough with eruption. It is 10, that is 20. Okay, okay, let's start counting. Let's count, just, just take it easy. There's no rush. Take it easy. This is vulnerable too. Shit. <laughs> so much, so much counting that needs to happen here. 20. This will go down to 12, which will do 24. That is 44. 64. And then Sash Whip will do it. Sash Whip will do it. Especially with the vulnerable. So, do that. Wait, wait, wait. It's a skill, so we'll use the Miracle. That happens. We don't care about weak. There goes the Miracle. There goes the Wreath of Flame and the Wreath of Flame. Cross joints. Oh, and there was a pen nib too. <laughs> We had like almost a hundred damage in overkill there. I was super overthinking it. It's pretty good, but you know, I have established my priorities. I have established my my uh, goals. Pretty could be good with this, the Damaru, but I think we're it's too late. Whenever you just cry, gain three block, and it's almost free. Sure. Sure. I mean, do we have enough money for the horn cleat? We have for both, right? I love the horn cleat. So I'm going to grab it. I mean, this and... Eh, it's kind of anti-synergy with Oricalcum, but it doesn't matter. Um, Yeah, just, just pick that up. And good to go. Looking pretty okay. I will murder this piece of garbage. Alright, probably need to stop it right here. Because... Uh, I do need to leave in 15 minutes. I'm not going to make it all the way to the f hard fight before then. So I'll just stop it here and I'll see you on the other side. All right, I'm ready to return to the Ragnarok Judgment deck that we had working for ourselves. It's been a whole day. So let me get my bearings straight. I looked at the deck already. I, I have remember everything these days in between they really need to stop though i really need to make an effort to record a whole run in one single day because i have noticed quite the difference in performance it's like the jibe of the deck kind of escapes me and getting back into it can cost me the run i'm going to blame that uh for the previous loss and not my utter stupidity that's what i'm going to blame anyway we have a three darkling fight let's see what we can do with our wonderful arsenal of different cards to murder things with. Let's see, combat was a skill, so I can do talk to the hand, vigilance, cross joints. Or maybe vigilance, cross joints, talk to the hand. No, that will make no sense. So, so let's start here. I don't think I want to antibody. 
We'll leave the, that for next turn. We'll start there. Do the vigilance and do the crush joints, and that should give me enough block. Yeah. And we'll keep the energy. I don't think I want to gain this. This would be pretty damn stupid. Obviously, we do want to attack. Let's uh, weaken one of these Darklings. I don't think I'll have enough damage for next turn, though. So probably just do more damage here. Let's put it close to death. Or closer to death. And that way I might be able to stop one of them from doing something next turn, I suppose. Not terribly pleased with this either, but this will draw me some cards. If I can maybe get a way of getting out of this stance, that will be fantastic. Because otherwise this this hand is utter garbage. So, give me something good. Ooh, omniscience. Omniscience. I can do, I can do the big one. I can do the big one. I'm going to do it. Omniscience. Some omniscience. And we will pick Ragnarok. And Judgment should work after Ragnarok. Unless we get some really bad omnisciences. I guess we can just be... Let's be cautious. And do a, a double wall up. Here comes Ragnarok. Judgment comes from the skies twice. And the double wall up. Does enough damage to save me a lot of damage. Fantastic stuff. Do we have enough? I will use a Miracle Wreath of Flame to make sure that the next guy utterly splats against the floor that'll be a fantastic time very happy <laughs> very happy with this deck i am so glad that we got such a such a good pile of cards i think i want another talk to the hand this will be amazing against uh, bosses i'm down for it i'm down with it hell yeah find some potions completely free of charge let's see let's see on the forge power potion gain four strength how come this potion is so powerful? Oh, because we have... I'm like, what the fucking hell? This is never seen before. We have Sacred Bark. So we have some really good potions here. This is a 40 damage bar potion. Hmm. You want that? That one? And I am... I think Blessing of the Forge. Your hand for the rest of combat. I don't see how you can... Uh, double this. So discard that one. We'll pick up the fire potion. That's like a single kill. Uh, power potion. Okay. I think I would rather have powers than, than skills. Uh, a single enemy kill. Just like that. So I'm very happy to go into this double elite fight. It's no problem at all. Well, we, we still have to recall. I was trying to remember what's the fragment that we're missing. So how many camps do we have going for? Only two, huh? That's unfortunate. But we should be okay. Let's go this way. I like me my question marks. Even though they lead to a freaking awful fight. I don't like this guy at all. There's a big debuff coming in. I uh, guess we will scry and see what we can get out of it. Hmm. I don't see how this is going to be helpful. I think I am okay without drawing Deus Ex Machina for next turn. I think I want to get rid of uh, that. And hopefully we can draw something big. That will be amazing. Vigilance, yeah. Actually, Vigilance is not very useful when I have freaking Meditate. What's coming? I guess we can meditate into that, huh? I mean, what else am I going to do? There's nothing else I can do. I can exit the stance and gain nothing at all. So, just meditate. We'll uh, keep these two. There you are. A little annoying. Peniv. Ooh, Peniv is coming. Peniv. Omniscience. Mm-hmm. Let's see. We can even do this. Is there a way to exit this? When you draw this card. Oh, I, oh, I didn't realize this is how it works. <laughs> I didn't realize that. That's how it works. I thought that I would be, you know, getting the two miracles. It does not work that way. Well, that's up upsetting, but not that big a deal. Let's do Miracle. Wreath of Flame. Omniscience. Is that enough damage to murder? I don't really care. All I want is the massive pile of damage. There you go. Ragnarok. And then the other one can be another wallop. Because otherwise it will do a lot of damage. Yep, yep. Definitely worked out. <laughs> With the pen nip too. I forgot about that. That worked out pretty nicely. Uh, this crescendo is actually very good. I believe. Oh, and here's the big guy. Here's the freaking Reptomancer. But hey... 
we drew we drew the absolute best and I can in fact apply vulnerable to this guy. So we're going to do miracle cross joints Wreath of Flame of missions. This is the most disgusting <laughs> the most disgusting series of turns I've ever seen. It's barely any damage is coming. What can I do that is even more damage? I don't think judgment will be good. Uh, I guess we can just play a double Nirvana just in case I don't kill, but I think I will kill. What is the second most damaging attack that I can possibly do? Maybe just uh, two talk to the hands and that way I am protected forever. I'm going to count on Ragnarok not being enough damage, so let's do it like that. Yep, yep. That definitely did something, right? I think Wallop would have actually gotten the kill, so, you know, kind of wasted a turn here, but pretty sure. Pretty sure that we're going to be okay. Goof. Well, a slightly easy Reptomancer. You can now dig for relics at rest sites. That's awesome. Uh, there's only one rest site left, though. This could be good. It's upgraded. I just don't have a draw, but this will give me the draw, right? You know what? I think I'm okay with that because we do go into Wrath now and then. It's pretty good. Okay, two campsites left. I suppose we'll just dig better than now than later and upgrading something in the deck. I don't think I think we're past that point. We don't really need to upgrade anything. Of course it would be nice but nicer that just get a random relic. I don't think so. Just give me a give me a pair. <laughs> Wonderful. You know as you do you dig for pears you put it in your mouth is uh, something I'm okay with. Fine. Fine thing way of doing things. Here's a question though, is it a smart idea to omniscience this one? Because it's not going to be that much damage. Sash Whip is not going to be that great. I mean, with Ragnarok, let's see, let's do, do a little bit of math here. Um, we'll get double Ragnarok. If I can actually do double Wreath of Flame, double Ragnarok, I didn't think about that. That is even more disgusting. That is awfully disgusting. I have to do that. Uh, let's do the math and see if I got it right. Let's see. We're going to crescendo first, so that will be double damage already. So the Ragnarok will be doing 12 six times. But Wreath of Flame twice with 16 and plus 12 will be 28 six times. 28 six times and then 12 six times. I don't think that's enough damage to kill. But damn it, I'm going to do it anyway. And it's going to be awesome, and everybody will laugh. Omniscience. The other omniscience. And then we will do... Wreath of Flame. Ragnarok. Let's see what happens. 80. How does that... Eight, oh, because the 8 damage also gets doubled. Ah, that's why. That's why the difference was so huge. Look, it's like the Spire math. It's difficult, but I just got a turn 1 kill of freaking head. <laughs> head man, so... Feeling pretty good. Pretty good about this uh, turn of events. Not really one this color, this potion, so let's carry on. Yet another elite fight. Why the hell not? Let's go this way because there's also a question mark. And I like the question marks better. I don't want another curse. Skip that chest. Right? Because uh, all I need to do is recall. So I don't need it. Give me more omniscience, please. Eh, I didn't get, didn't get lucky a third time in a row. Unfortunate. This third eye. Ooh. I definitely want that. Whenever you scry again, three block. Applying weak doesn't matter. Uh, I don't know if I want the eruption, actually. Just get rid of that. But I definitely want Nirvana. We'll do it like so. And uh, we'll definitely enter Vigilance. Wreath of Flame is not going to go off next turn. I guess we'll just do a little bit of damage here. Is there a reason to use one of these potions? I mean, we'll probably get a kill with a Fire Potion here. Just to make my life easier. <coughs> I might even just use the Power Potion. But it feels like, you know, the Watcher has so many OP powers. Oh, Pendive too. So this Wreath of Flame, next turn I'm just going to attempt to do zero attacks. That is what I'm going for. 
So we'll definitely do the Nirvana. Wallop is actually bad here, so don't really want it. Talk to the hand will be really, really nice. But I think we just need to, to, to hang tight. Too bad about that Wallop. It will be really nice to have it. We just need to hang tight. Uh, we'll receive some damage. I hate that empty body. It's going to take me out of stance. Do we want it though? We'll just we'll just take seven. We are so likely to get one of the really big attacks next turn, and that will just almost outright murder it. So I think it's the right choice to just hit that end turn. I guess you know we don't need really the energy, so this is fine. This is fine, and we'll take no damage at all. Unfortunately, about the energy, but that's fine. There you go. Give me something good. A hey, omniscious. Too bad that we also grabbed Ragnarok. But I'm pretty sure this is enough damage forever. <laughs> Ooh, mummified hand is nice. I don't have that many powers. Liquid Memories. I think I like Liquid Memories more than the Power Potion. I think I like it more than the Strength Potion. Ragnarok does not... Does not exhaust. So definitely Liquid Memories is super good with Ragnarok. What else do you got? We plus is nice. Another talk to the hands feels like overkill. And we don't need that at all. Mm. Which of these potions is the least useful? Probably the strength potion. I mean, obviously it's good. Probably the fire potion actually is the least useful. It's 40 damage, but I think Ragnarok plus strength potion piles up more to 40 damage. But eh, just grab those liquid memories. It's all good. Skip this. At this point, we're just moving forward. Uh, we I don't really want to lose health. We're not resting at all. We're just going to there and, and recalling. So it's all a matter of getting to the end with 100% uh, health. So maybe there's something good here. Probably not. Uh, Flash of Steel is like, meh. This is basically free attack, right? It does hurt you in the hard fight. Because then you're playing another card. Not even interested. Just not even interested. Just leave. There you go. Another fight here. Give me something good uh, to destroy everything, please. I guess we can just wall up the crap out of one of these guys. Uh, but let's start a cut through fate. To scry. Maybe we can dr uh, draw something nicer. Mm. Wreath of Flame. We can play both and then wall up. And that will be enough damage to kill, maybe? I don't really want to discard Nirvana, though. But I'm gonna. Just so I can draw that Wreath of Flame. Uh, we'll do both. What's this? Attack, apply one weak. We'll apply a weak here. Do I have enough uh, energy for everything? Not really. I don't really want to use my Miracle, so... I'll just do this. I thought it was enough damage, but it's not. Warp, warp, warp. I maybe should have counted. Doesn't matter though, because I get enough uh, defense for it not to matter. Do we want to use the miracle? Not really. We'll just pass the turn. We'll be okay. No stress. No big deal. Uh, well, the Nirvana did not work, but we have zero damage coming in and also zero damage going out. It's a very chill turn. That does absolutely nothing. Just get rid of that. I think I do want to draw that. Uh, we'll just apply Vigilance and uh, play that for no reason whatsoever. Just uh, on the in the waiting room for the powerful plays here. Rush down Crescendo. Hell yeah. Actually, Rush down Eruption will be good. Mm, no, there's no damage coming in. This is silly. And in fact, Inner Peace. Start Inner Peace, there's a Judgment. Judgment is fantastic for this thing, even though he has not been damaged at all. Just murder them all. This will do dual da double damage. And I will be able to draw something. Skill. I do want to do double damage with that, so we're going to do this. And there's Ragnarok. I wonder if the Ragnarok will actually hurt me. Deal 18 damage to a random enemy six times. Every time that I hurt it, will it do damage to me when attacked? I'm not really attacking it. It is suffering spell damage. I think that it doesn't count. It counts as like orb damage, you know? 
So I think this Ragnarok will not hurt me if it lands on the Thorns Boy. Let's uh, test it out. It does hurt me. Well, <laughs> you learn something new every day, I suppose. Unfortunately, we received some damage there. Not very happy with that because we were going to the, the final fight without... Oh, nice. We were going to the final fight um, almost at full health. So that makes me a little mad. This is the boy that can actually do something to me. We don't have a pen nib. We don't really have anything other than... I don't think this is the time where I want to do the massive omniscient turn. But I'm going to do it anyway. Because I love big flashy attacks. Where's the other wreath? There you go. And then Ragnarok. Let's see... Uh enormous amount of damage that <laughs> happens here not even close to getting him to one fourth health so i think that was a mistake we're going to struggle now to do enough damage i wish i had a smoke potion that would be nice i am tempted to use that power potion in fact we can do liquid memories no 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 we exhausted ragnarok so now we're going to struggle to do enough damage here that being said it shouldn't be too bad right right am i right what's the skill to apply vulnerable we can always have the fire potion we always have the puff the power potion in fact it's probably going to happen here um let's we'll talk to the hand first give me that extra block uh, and in fact we'll throw out one miracle to apply vulnerable there how goes that strike and i pending for next turn that should help quite a bit this is a matter of surviving enough i love me the flashy attacks but oh nice i meditate is very very helpful that pen nib. Not going to be enough, huh? Let's see what we can draw, though. Mm, oh, nice. A wallop. This is good. That wallop. Fantastic stuff. Just goes down to zero. And, of course, we'll meditate to end. We will keep wallop, of course, and read the flame. See, the deck doesn't even need Ragnarok. It still works just fine. Still works just fine. We'll talk to the hand here. Give me some more block coming in. Do we want that crescendo? Hell yeah, why the hell not? What is the worst that can happen? I don't think I do, though. Mm, because next turn I could get utterly trounced. So let's just just uh, take it easy. Just take it easy. We'll do that. Cast Nirvana. A wreath of flame as well. And out goes the wallop. Is that, it's not enough, really. Probably should I use the empty empty body on the on the next one hmm. not very pleased with this we will probably have to use the fire potion here or maybe the liquid memories after I play wallop I don't really want to use crescendo it can be very upsetting actually I'm blocking most of this damage in fact I am going to block all of the damage we'll scry for inner peace is nice actually this this hand is nice I'm going to even keep that. That, that. That's a fine hand all around. We actually managed to block 45 because of the 5 block that we're gaining any time that we attack this idiot. Alright. What's the worst that can happen? Let's just, uh, just do Vigilance, Inner Peace, Crescendo. Sure. We'll apply some sweet vulnerability here. Our out goes, that's 25, that's 20. We'll apply that week. 37 coming in. That's 24 damage, 20 damage. I will be drawing something. Might as well use those, see what happens here. That wallop is nice. Give it to me. It belongs to me. It is my wallop. All right, we survived. I couldn't get to kill him. In fact, we weren't even close to killing him. I have witnessed it being murdered. But it always takes a lot of thought to get for that fight very very tempted by this warship i think we should have it because we have this damaru i mean i don't really have any more mantra so it is questionable definitely questionable but that temptation of that uh infinity whatever stands i forget the name of it amazing super stands Triple damage plus Ragnarok. I can't pass it up. I have to. I have to take this warship. Anyway, now we recall. 
And then we carry on to Donudeka. Please don't murder me, Donudeka. That will be very, very sad circumstance of me getting murdered by you. I will be very, very sad. Please don't do it. All right, at least we start with some good stuff. Liquid Mary's Five. I think this power potion, I think it's a fine time to drink it. Let's see. Yes. This is definitely going to be paying for itself. Oh, we get two of them, huh? I thought that it would give me another choice. But that immediately gives me, gets me so close. So we mantra one, then next turn we're going to have six. So two turns from now, I'm in fact going to get what I want to get. Uh, do we want to draw here? We definitely want to because we have so much energy. So let's do something like so. Worship. Well, we could enter Mantra next turn. Enter Divinity. That's the word for it. Uh, sure. I might draw something incredible. So might as well do that. Do some damage over there and just defend, defend. Uh, not enough to block all the damage, but seems fine. No reason to cast this. We want to maybe Liquid Memories. Is there a reason for it? No, inner peace. Uh, yeah, there's. Uh, I'm good. I'm good. In turn. And this is hope for an amazing draw. This could count as amazing. <laughs> I think it counts as amazing. I'm pretty sure. This is just death. Do I have one more attack? Yeah, yeah. I sure do, my friend. I sure do. Let's just do this. I have nine energy. <laughs> Here comes the pen nib. Double. Omniscience, double, uh, Wreath of Flame, Ragnarok. Let's watch the incredible apocalypse. <laughs> well, slightly powerful. Not gonna lie, that was more than I expected. <laughs> that was 150 damage per hit. Pen Nib, Divinity, double f Wreath of Flame. Ragnarok. Never saw that before. I don't think I'll ever see it again. <laughs> That's awesome. Of course, the heart is not going to be that easy. The heart's not going to take it laying down like that. It's because you have a limit of how much damage you can do. I think we need an upgrade here. I am tempted to just rest, but now nah, we're going to dig for something even better. Yeah, it's all right. We have 226. Mm, that is good that I didn't rest because I forgot that we had the meal ticket. Conjure Blade, nah. I pray, I mean, fine. Game 4 Mantra and Shuffle Inside, sure. This will put me into the triple... Triple stance. Pretty quickly, too bad we don't have enough for Shuriken here. Um, don't really care about fasting. Uh, all the other stuff is not something I want. Let's get that Pray Plus and then remove a Strike or Defend. Sometimes we want to throw out an attack just to pile up that pen nib. So I think I will rather just get rid of a defend. There you go. We didn't have a curse, did we? That would be very, very sad if I had a curse. I didn't. Okay, good. All right. Pretty good. Those omniscience turns are hilarious. I look forward to another. Too bad we didn't get it, but that's okay. Why are you doing so little damage? I guess he is also debuffing me. Um, do I dare to eruption talk to the hand? I don't think that's a good idea. That will be like a total of 24 damage. We do have Orichalcum. I think I just need to chill. Eruption is just uh, taking damage for no reason. So we'll just put down the put to the hand and uh, we'll get rid of his artifact. And then uh, hope for a good wreath of flame here. Next turn. Let's take it easy. Let Uricalcum do his thing. Take six damage. And pass on to the next turn. Not a very good starting hand. Hopefully we get something good in this one. Not very good. There's a prey. Nirvana. At least vigilance is happening. My goodness, we might need to liquid memories here. A little bit of defense. Yeah, because uh, we're not doing great where that is concerned. Maybe uh, Liquid Memories, this mantra, this prey. No, because then I don't have draw. So I, I won't have ways of doing a whole lot of damage. Pretty damn upsetting. 
Pretty damn upsetting. Ten, ten times four. This like this guy can actually kill me because of the terrible the terrible draws that we got. <laughs> this kind of was a skill. All right, so we can actually apply vulnerable, but is that worth anything? Not really. We'll enter vigilance. Oh, thankfully we actually had the horn cleat that we got a ton of a ton of uh, block from. So what you can do about it, right? I can. I think I should, in fact. Just to get some more defense. Like, this is a ton of damage coming in. I don't think I should take it. I think I should use the liquid memories here just to have that extra block. I don't think it's a bad idea. Uh, we get to pick two, right? Hmm. Here comes the Wreath of Flint, too. I'm going to also be a little a little greedy. Being a little greedy. All right, 35 blocks. Not bad. Still, look at all the damage I took. Very, very annoying. Please. Oh, there's the Omniscience. All right. That's fantastic. Uh, you know, I was a little concerned. I was a little concerned there, but that Omniscience is going to happen. We have one Flame Wreath now. Omniscience plus the Wreath of Flame. No pen nib, unfortunately. No, no, first omniscience. And then. Was there a way? Oh, yeah, the omniscience. And now I could go into worship. And then Ragnarok. I think that will be a better way of doing things, right? It will actually be more damage. So do this. And then Ragnarok. Super Divinity, kaboom. <laughs> well, worked out. Start each combat in combat. Wow, what a great trinket. Uh, crescendo, just lucky, bowling bash. None of these. I mean, I think just lucky is fine. Because we do have that. Just skip it. Go for the heart. All right, well, not entering. Not very happy with my situation. If we don't get a good draw, it's not going to be great. And of course, because of the amazing ability to not be obliterated on the first turn this omniscience is not actually going to be amazing um that being said do we really want to do 300 damage in the first turn i think that is blowing my wad far too early like it would be this warship will be exhausted Let me see. Let me look at Nerva. Uh, cost, casting Prey twice will not put me in Divinity. I think this is overkill. But I'm going to do it anyway. Because you only live once. I also have a Wreath of Flame. I, mean, I don't think that Wreath of Flame is a good idea to cast now. Because it will be super overkill. That being said, I'm going to do it. Because you only live at least once. <laughs> you only live once. I'm going to get it done. Omniscience, Worship, Ragnarok. Kaboom! Okay, that it did use up more than I needed to. And in fact, I should have uh, done some defense first. <laughs> anyway, that was, that was entertaining, I think. It saved us uh, a lot of pain in the future. We got 40 damage there. I will give myself a 40-40 of possibly killing the freaking heart. We get that big, big, big debuff going on uh, we have two mantra right now 67 damage coming in a little upsetting we do have inner peace we have no block whatsoever oh yeah well the the horn cleat is going to save us but we definitely need to draw something here otherwise we're gonna die horrendously do we have oh inner peace could have gotten me out of the stance and now we don't really have a way to do it uh, talk to the hand is not going to be very good Mm. If I went to do eruption, I would just freaking die horrendously. So this hard fight is actually a tough one. Yeah, I want to do that. 67, 54 uh, health. So it's just death. <laughs> it's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. Actually, we're not dead yet. We're not dead yet. The crescendo. I'll draw two cards not good enough that prey is not good enough yeah it's not good enough uh, 
Yeah, we don't have the we don't have the damage here, unfortunately. Womp womp womp. What's the damage going out though? But I can't get out of wrath. So the heart, once again, it got me. All because uh there's not enough block and I I mean I even took out the cards, like taking out the cards that I did, it didn't really affect my ability to survive in this turn. So let's just chalk it up to having very, very little luck. How about an ink bottle? No, that's not going to do anything, is it? Don't have enough. I played everything. Morp, 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 morp. Poof. Death. Even the absolute most overpower, overpowered deck I have ever had. It was just not good for the, the hard fight. I think if we had drawn differently, it would have. The first turn, I don't think I could have... Uh, I guess maybe playing less cards and suffering less damage from the beating heart. Maybe I could have survived. It was a matter of being able to get out of, of uh, wrath during that turn. I think the problem was I did inner peace... I think that was a mistake. If I had not done inner peace while I was in calm, I would have been able to get out of the stance and then through talk to the hand, I would actually would have had enough block to resist that attack. Well, at least we got this, this step up on the ascension mode. That is the main aim of these runs. Can't win them all. The heart is the absolute toughest fight in the game. I misplay for sure. We, I think we could have gone the win on that one. But between the misplay and the bad draw on the last turn there, it was a disaster. Well, hopefully you had a good time. I sure did. That was the most damage I've ever done in all Slay the Spire experience that I've had. So that was a good time. See you in the next one. Until then, bring down the Ragnarok Judgment and bond your enemies and watch them explode.